on lying. The ability to tell effective lies, I have increasingly realized, is one of the greatest skills that human beings have. When we are trying to uh, differentiate humans from animals, um, most of the ways we did it before, which was self-consciousness or language or tool-making and using, have evaporated. And of course, animals learn how to trick and deceive and lie as well. But human beings are really very good at it. And it's a skill we learn very early on. It's a social skill which uh, infants, I imagine, though we can't test it, certainly when I studied my granddaughter and watched film of her answering questions in which she was put in a position where she wanted to tell a lie, I watched between the age of about <clears throat> three and four her effectively tell um, a lie uh, because she didn't want to hurt me or whatever it was with a straight face uh, completely without uh, worrying about it. To begin with, she found it very difficult, but she learnt this art, and it's a very, very important art, because in much of social life, you cannot afford to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Um, and that statement um, reveals the different kinds of lies that you have to practice. Sometimes when you're asked something, you tell part of the truth, but not the whole truth. So, uh, where did you go? Well, I, I went into Cambridge, but you don't mention that you went to see um, someone you shouldn't have gone to see, or whatever. Uh, so, you are what was later called economical with the truth. And many, many lies in politics, uh, if you listen to politicians being interviewed, they answer with a partial truth, and you know that a lot has been left out. Then there's other kinds of lies where you tell the truth, but um, not nothing but the truth. You add in fictional things, which mean that the whole thing is twisted by added information. And then, of course, in other cases, you just tell a lie. Now, um, there have been articles, books, stories about people who just tell the truth. And of course, if you did that through your social life, you would no longer have any friends or family within a very short space. Because if you say to people, honestly, you look dreadful today, and uh, anyway, I don't really like you much, etc., etc., um, even with closest family, it would be intolerable. So we mask our lives and don't uh, tell the truth. In a court of law, you are meant to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And surprisingly, we believe that people will, unless there's very big pressure in the other direction, they will do that. Whereas in many societies, you wouldn't even dream of asking them to do that. So lying is uh, very important, and it's very important in all fields. In economic transactions, you have to dress up whatever your uh, offer is in an economic exchange. And quite often this means exaggerating or leaving out defects or whatever. And uh, you can usually get away with it. And so lying is, in essence, at the basis of a good deal of economic transactions and, of course, political transactions. Um, I like the, I think, 18th century remark describing um, envoys and ambassadors uh, playing on the um, ambiguity of the word lying. Uh, envoys and ambassadors are people who lie abroad for their country. Now, it could be meaning they sleep there and live there and so on, but of course it also captured the fact that the ambassadors are, have to be trained and diplomats to tell constructive uh, uh, non-truths or ambiguities. And it's true in every sphere. 
the one area where it's very difficult to lie, if you're certainly a Protestant Christian, is to God, because God actually is within you and he sees your inner thoughts and um, ideas and emotions and uh, he won't be deceived. And so this is a sort of total surveillance by the, certainly the, the Christian sort of God. And I found this pretty stressful growing up because I could deceive my family and everyone else. But when it came to uh, confessing my sins, which I was meant to do from time to time, I was unable to say to God, actually, you didn't notice, but. <laughs> so lying is a really fruitful, interesting, cross-comparative theme. Different societies have different kinds of lying practices and things you lie about. But universally, I'm certain we will find that right at the heart of many people's lives, lives are lies of various kinds.